That was the, exactly the saddest moment in my life. I can't ever remember any moment of my life we have been more sad. We were denied something, it was taken away off the field. Before the sadness was euphoria. The year was 1971. The eyes of the nation were on Howard University and its championship-bound men's soccer team. Going into the, into the championship, you know, everyone believed that we could do it. We felt that the only team that could have beaten us was Howard itself. In fact, no team could beat Howard that year. This team of extraordinary athletes capped a 15-0 season with the NCAA Division I championship, defeating St. Louis University 3-2. It was an historic victory. No HBCU had ever won a Division I title in any sport. But the euphoria was short-lived. Howard was stripped of its title. Alma Mater had fielded a team of players with Caribbean roots, African roots, black roots. Some of them were deemed ineligible for NCAA play. We were recruited and we were, um, you know, um, admitted to school here without taking the SAT to suddenly find out that um, it was the SAT itself that became the sticking point in taking away that trophy. They, they took a, a, a thing away from us, a, a great pride and joy, and we have to get it back. And the way to do it would be to do it on the field. Despite the NCAA's action, despite the team losing what it worked so hard for, it was an epic year for Bison soccer. The team wiped out all competitors, forged a new path of greatness, and left Howard and all people of color inspired as well as outraged because of the unforgivable betrayal. For its unmatched skill and integrity, the 1971 men's soccer team is proudly welcomed into Howard University's Hall of Fame.